Hey guys, so if you watched my previous episodes, you know that I told you we've got the wall finished around the five acres here. But every now and then I have to go around and check it. And uh, I'll tell you why when I return on the Eric McNeil Be Free Show. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Hey guys, welcome. You've just discovered the Eric McNeil Be Free Show, where I show you how to be financially independent, responsible for self, enjoy life, and empower others to free. So at any rate, Hopefully the wind is not too bad uh, in the microphone because it's very windy. That's one of the things here is that it can get very windy. And um, this morning is quite windy. So, but at any rate, I'll try to talk loud. So I'm on the property. Um, as you can see, let me turn the camera. Around. So at any rate, we are clearing the property. So the owner has... Uh, some new workers and they are actually going around the entire five acres and clearing the property so you can see um, that you know the grasses here they just grow so quickly so what they've asked them to do is just basically uh, pull the grasses up by the roots so they're going section by section uh, of this entire five acres and um, just pulling the grasses up, uh, weeding it uh, by the roots so that it doesn't grow back so quickly. So, I mean, these, this grass, it grows, and it grows uh, um, like, you know, five, six feet, it'll grow. So, uh, this is, uh, I guess they call it elephant grass. So, it, it, it grows, and it's thick. So, at any rate, they've been doing a good job um, trying to clear the entire property. And, um, Here's one of uh, my termite mounds. So this mound here, um, it uh, might be five and a half. Now it might be six feet. So it, it's it's taller than me. So um, yeah. So this is one of my termite mounds, and and what happens is that during a heavy after a heavy rain, if you uh, turn your lights on, then after heavy rain all the termites uh, they'll fly toward the light and then we catch those termites and eat them and you're talking about some man you're talking about some good eating let me tell you something now I know some of you guys are saying what you're gonna eat termites now the thing is is that there are several different kind of termites in here so you know you got like the uh, guards that will bite you and then you got these flying termites with the uh, uh, big wings on them and as soon as they um, usually hit water you know they go to the ground usually their wings will fall off and you catch them in water and man you cook them and you don't even need oil to cook them because they produce their own oil and so you just kinda put them in a, a pan and you fry them and man you talking about some good eating <laughs> I'm telling you and the thing is is that um, you know we think in the West somebody say oh termites oh that, that sounds easy you eating insects but let me tell you they're nutritious and healthy and when they do come down you'll see like all of the other um, animals and insects trying to eat them, the cats trying to eat them, the chickens eating them, the lizards eating them, um, the frogs eating them, the ants want to eat them, so everything, and if you feed like your your chickens these, these uh, termites here, the chickens just produce eggs galore, just like crazy they, they, they produce eggs, so they're very nutritious um, for you, and, and man, they are delicious. They are delicious. Um, but yeah, those are uh, my termite mounds. So yeah, so you know, I look forward to getting those. That's like a, yeah, that's like a delicacy. He, boy, I'm telling you, I'm telling y'all, y'all don't understand. But at any rate, um, I am in the uh, 
yard just going around. Like I say, you know, you can see uh, sections every now and then, you know, so, you know, you see my, the wall. Um, so, I'm just checking the wall and you say, well, Eric, you might ask, I wonder, well, Eric, why are you going around checking sections of the wall? Because here, let me tell you something, here, even though you have a wall, <laughs> it does not necessarily mean that uh, everything is going to be okay and you say, man, I have a friend, I have a friend and he owns, he owns a lot of acreage, like in this area, and he owns uh, properties in other areas of uh, Ghana too. Um, you know, not too far away, but uh, in this region, I would say, still in this region. But he owns a lot of real estate. And um, he's Ghanaian, and he lives in the, the U.S. And so he came here uh, to visit about a couple weeks ago. He came to visit, and he said he went to one of his properties. I'm not going to call out the area. But um, it's within it's within an hour it's within an hour of uh, this place. But he said he visited the property, and he has a wall around the property, and he said that uh, someone had started uh, taking the bricks, the blocks, out of the wall. Now, I want you to listen to this. Now, and I'm sorry if it's uh, getting a little dark. Uh, I'm going into a shaded area. But, uh, but yeah, so at any rate, he said that um, they began to take the blocks, carefully take, take the blocks out of the wall. Not just crashing uh, the wall down, knocking the wall down but carefully taking the blocks out of the wall. Obviously, obviously, so they can use them. And so he said, um, he and his brother just drove around the community to investigate, see what they can come up with. And lo and behold, they found someone using their blocks to build their house. Yeah. <laughs> Using the blocks out of their wall to build their house. So they carefully went in, you know, the wall is up with, you know, with concrete and everything, you know, more, I mean, mortar in between uh, uh, the, the, the blocks. Um, and um, yeah, and so they went through and actually took the blocks out the wall so that they can use them to build a house. And the sad part about it is the person that was doing it, he said, is the junior brother of the local chief in that area. My, 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 my. So, it's, and this is why I tell you, you know, um, you think, oh, it's because it's chief uh, is this uh, that person man you could be you can be got by anybody by anybody I'm telling you guys um, but yeah he said so they had to uh, call the police and um, you know so I guess it's ongoing I, you know he had to leave like within a couple days so uh, you know I don't know um, his brother is still here his brother lives here and watches the properties but you know, that just goes to show you, you know, you have a property and you say, well, I'm going to put my pillars down so nobody, you know, so uh, they'll know where my landmark is. But uh, if you don't concrete those pillars down, then somebody, you know, will move your pillars um, just like we had here where my neighbor saw another neighbor trying to move the pillars because they weren't concreted down. So he was going to. Uh, get him some extra land. You would never know if the, the pillars were moved. 
because unless you do another survey, how, how would you know that? You know, you have acres here. Somebody comes and moves the pillars over uh, 15, 20 feet. You wouldn't know. So, you know, you have to concrete those pillars down. And even when you concrete them down, it's no guarantee. So you have to... Um, I mean, just like, you know, this wall, you say, okay, I put my wall up, I'm good now. Not necessarily. You got to make sure you're checking your wall, you know, occasionally. Make sure that, you know, nobody's uh, taking any blocks out the wall. Ain't that something? Oh, boy. So, it is a constant, you know. So, for those people who, uh, when, when we first start doing this wall for the new owners, you know, some people say, oh, why are they doing wall? Um, you know, it's an eyesore. It's a this, it's a that. Yeah, you know, I, I hate, you know, that you have to uh, go through these extreme measures and do this type of stuff. But when people invest so much in property and, um, you know, and there's such an ongoing, you know, uh, encroachment, then they want to protect their their uh, investment. It's, it's, it's just that simple. You know, unless you're going to come here and promise them that, hey, you're going to reimburse them, you're going to do this, that, and the other. No, people are going to do what is necessary to protect their investment, and that's what they're doing, and that's why they found the need to uh, put this wall up around five acres. And, yes, did they spend a lot of money to do this? You bet. It's, it's, enough, it's enough blocks going around this wall, you know, probably 18,000, 20,000 blocks going around this five acres, and, you know, it's easily enough to build uh, three houses, you know. Um, so, you know, so they spend a lot of money, but, uh, you know, this is uh, their uh, retirement property, right? So, you know, when they come here to Ghana, they don't want any, uh, as they say, wahala uh, when it comes to their property, and you know, I, I can't blame them. I can't blame them. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going around checking, you know, occasionally. I just walk around, just make sure that the wall is still there. Everything is still intact. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's something, guys. It's, it's, it's something, you know. It's something every day. Um, and here is my neighbor's uh, three-wheeler. So, you know, my neighbors who have the steep road up there and they can't get up the road, well, they had to resort to going to uh, purchase this um, three-wheeler to take all of their, their concrete and their blocks and everything from the bottom of their road to their property um, just to build. And um, so they, they were working all day yesterday. It, it works fine to get up the hill. And so, um, you know, where there's a wheel, there's a way. So this is uh, uh, what they're using, and it works. And, you know, I'm happy it works because, um, like I said, they was going to have to fix that road about them a helicopter before because, uh, um, you know, they had the tractor to tip over on them, and, um, and they're just having all kind of problems with that road. Uh, you know, this, I mean, it doesn't solve the problem with the road. Um, they'll, you know, because they still won't be able to drive up that road unless they get it uh, fixed. But, you know, for the immediate term, you know, this, this uh, helps out a lot. It gets them there. So they just, they, just, they were working all day yesterday. And, um, you know, so she asked, could she uh, park it over here? Um, so, yeah, still, it still has the the bubble wrap on it and stuff so um so you know you can see that they just got it uh yeah so i'm happy for them uh, you know i'm happy that i'm happy that they were able to uh work that out um and you know it's just you just it's just a matter of solving problems here guys you don't expect that you're gonna come here and everything's gonna be laid out for you and it's just gonna be simple man you, you you're dealing with this, it's, it's, it's about solving problems, period. And if you're not used to solving problems, you're not used to that, then you're going to fold very quickly. Um, so at any rate, I just wanted to come to you today and uh, give you that uh, brief update and, uh, you know, what I was doing around the property today. I'm actually uh, headed now 
to uh, meet with the sellers of the property that we're looking at. So we're going through uh, for the community and doing our due diligence. And so we're going to uh, meet with the attorneys today. And, um, you know, so, so far, uh, that's looking all good. You know, we, we've gotten past the part where we know it's a real property and uh, there's no scamming going on. Now it's just if we can come to agreement uh, with the family on the payment terms and conditions and everything, then we'll proceed forward, uh, you know, so the final amounts uh, still kind of, uh, you know, we're discussing. So I'm going to go and meet with their attorney um, today and we'll discuss that. But we're very close, so we're excited about that as well. All right, then, if you like what we're talking about, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment, uh, you know, give me your sto stories about, you know, somebody, anybody harvesting the blocks out of your wall to build their own property. Um, let me know. And um, you can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Eric McNeil is free. And as always, hoorah, hoorah, now be free.